So our final race of week seven on the National Hunt is race 39. It's a two-mile fight for um, Hunter Chase with a very small field. So number one is Kluger for Stu Gray. Two is Sufalini Mullin for Paul Rose. Three is Goldie for Stu Gray. And four is Slaney upon for Thomas Rogers. So I'm looking to try and win this one, obviously. So they're away um, racing. Coming in with a 50% chance. It is my Kluger that leads. Suffolini Moodling on his outside. Goldie on his inside. And then Slaney upon just at the rear. We get to the first. Oh, two mistakes by Suffolini Moodling and Slaney upon. It's allowed Kluger and Goldie to lead. And they look like reluctant leaders as they get to the second. This time Goldie was very slow over it. We'll have to Kluger out on his own. So Kluger leads from Goldie in second, Sufalini Moulin is third, and Slaney upon his fourth. This will be a good time to tell you the scores on the doors of the National Hunt. So uh, James Shea is leading the leaderboard with six wins, followed by myself with five. Then we've got Thomas Rogers with four, Paul Rhodes with three, Martin Leadham with two. As I get to this big ditch, then we'll get over that. And then just with one win apiece is uh, Craig Beckwith and... David Robertson. So, uh, if I can pick this one up, I'll be joining Mr. Shea at the top of the leaderboard. So they'll go to the fourth. I'm still standing, thankfully. Two miles still to run. It's Kluger and Sufalini Moulin. Goldie on his inside and Slaney upon. So, it's Sufalini Moulin that's going to take it up for Paul Rhodes. Takes a hold. It's Kluger and Goldie to come alongside as they get to the fifth. Goldie went straight through the top of that. Shuffled right back towards the rear now. Loses a couple of lengths. Suffolini Moulin and Kluger. And Slaney upon. And Goldie. There's plenty of uh, chat in the old forums about returning bars. Don't know whether it would be good or bad. I think there's... Uh, bigger fish to fry, and we all have our own opinions. But it's Sufalini Moulin that leads from Kluger on his inside, and a couple of lengths away from Slaney upon and Goldie. We get to the seventh, we get over that, and we were slow. Must a small stand here at Ormwick, winning post. And, uh, and my ground clutterback likes to... Uh, do the hunter chase courses. He loves to put those hedges around the, the winning post. Anyway, it's Kluger that's now gone on to lead us as we come down to the eighth of the water. Jumps it well. Slaney upon the second. Suffolk so Moulin is his partner. And then Goldie's still there. Just by a length off those two at the back. Some of the mile and a quarter still to travel. It's Kluger that leads us by about three or four from Slaney upon the Suffolk Moulin as they get to the ninth. The leaders over it. We took that one well. A little bit slow, Slaney upon. So anything can still win from here. So we're going to come down to the final mile. It's Kluger that still leads us with Sufalini Moulin. Slaney a bump. Goldie. Come to the next. It's a plain one. Leave us all over it. We took that well. It's going to jump a little bit better now. So Kluger being joined by Sufalini Moulin as they get to another plain one. They'll take it well together. The one that didn't made a mistake with Slaney upon him, just shuffles back a little bit. Sufalini Moulin takes the lead up and then takes a hold from Clue on his inside. Goldie about five lengths back from, and Slaney upon for company. So Kluger and Sufalini Moulin are now going to battle it down in the final six furlongs. And it's Sufalini Moulin that takes it up as we come to the next. Sufalini Moulin from Kluger. It's the ditch. They both take it well together. Oh, we've lost one. Slaney upon for Thomas Rogers has gone at the rear. So there's just three left. I'm going to try and gang up on Paul Rhodes' horse here as Goldie is being pushed along at the rear to try and catch back as we come down to the final half mile. But it's Sufalini Moulin and jumps that better. Kluger was slow over it. So Sufalini Moulin leads from Kluger in second. Goldie's running on still in third. We're inside the final half mile and we've just got just a couple to jump. And Sufalini Moulin from Kluger. Goldie's still running on, but Sufalini Moulin gets to the plane one, jumps it better. Slow jumps from Kluger. Goldie's still running on, but this Sufalini Moulin... Doesn't have to do a lot, a couple of fences and uh, stay in front. 
by a couple of lengths from Kluger and Goldie. So Paul Rhodes is still leading in the limb, leads by about a couple to Kluger and Goldie. They're really being hard pushed along now inside the final quarter. And it's Sufalini in the limb, comes down to the penultimate with Kluger and Goldie. He's only got to get over this. He does, jumps it well. The others are still chasing on, but it's Sufalini Mullin inside the third arm. There's only one to take. Leads by about three from hard pushed on Kluger and Goldie. They're not going to catch him unless he falls. He doesn't. He gets over it. Sufalini Mullin's probably going to hang on to this. The post got to come in time. Chased down by Kluger, but he's going to get there first. Sufalini Mullin takes it for Paul Rhodes. Moves on to four. Hunter to chase wins for the season. Well done. I couldn't, even though I sent so many horses to this, I couldn't get the win. Almost, maybe just another furlong. But Sufalini Mullin takes it from Kluger in second. Goldie was third. Unlucky for Selenia Pond for Thomas Rogers. It was a fall up. We'll see you next week.